Hi gang! This is a fairly easy to make laser called the T-Laser. It puts out ultraviolet light, which we can't see. But certain materials like highlighter pen ink turn that ultraviolet light into visible light, which we can see. Before showing you more demonstrations, here's a quick overview of the T-Laser. This is my homemade high voltage power supply. This ball is connected to earth ground, and this ball is high voltage positive. There's a spark gap here. There's also a very long spark gap here. That's where the lasing happens, the creation of the laser beam. There are a bunch of weights to hold things down firmly. Mine are just bags of sand. There's also a resistor sitting here. On either side of the very long spark gap are this angle piece and this angle piece. And lastly, there are two capacitors here. One is formed by this small sheet of aluminum foil, the dielectric, which in this case is a sheet of polyethylene, and the larger sheet of aluminum foil under that. The second capacitor is this small sheet of aluminum foil, the same sheet of polyethylene and the same larger sheet of foil underneath. Time to have some fun. You can't see the laser beam, it's ultraviolet light. But when the ultraviolet light hits white paper, the paper fluoresces, which means it gives off visible light, which we can see. Notice that the beam is going in both directions out the gap, showing up on both papers. You can also make a mark with a highlighter pen. It also fluoresces when ultraviolet light hits it. But I want to see the laser beam along its length, not just the ends. For that, I break open a highlighter pen and take out the ink tube inside. This one's wrapped in plastic. The material in the tube is filled with fluorescent, which does the same thing as the white paper. I dip one end of the tube in a container of tap water, soaking the material. By wetting the material like this and gently squeezing, I get some of the fluorescent in the water. I then put it in the path of the laser, and now I can see the laser beam. Here you can see that even this far away, the laser still shows up well, though it has spread out quite a bit as expected. Remember the laser shoots in both directions, but what happens if I put a mirror here to reflect the beam back through the gap? I start by putting a mirror in my vise. I do a quick test to see if it can reflect the laser beam. It does. I next put highlighter ink on a piece of paper and tape it to one end of the laser. I cut a hole where I can see the beam hitting it from the other side. Now the beam goes through the hole. I then arrange the mirror so that it can reflect the beam back through the hole. If the mirror is not lined up properly, then I can see the beam reflected onto the paper. It's easy to gradually move the mirror to direct the beam back through the hole. And here's what it looks like when it hits this paper, when the beam isn't being reflected back into the gap. And here's what it looks like when it is. The larger size could have to do with the longer path the reflected beam has to travel. And so that beam has spread out more. I don't think it's a result of amplification, since my understanding is that an amplified beam should spread out less than the original. And before you ask, T stands for Transverse Electrical Discharge at Atmospheric Pressure, though I've sometimes seen it as Transverse Excitation at Atmospheric Pressure. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org, for more videos like this. That includes one showing how to make this T-Laser, another explaining how the T-Laser works, and in keeping with the topic of light, one on how a prism works to produce a rainbow of colors. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or leave a question or comment below. See you soon!